I'm really very pleased to be here in this exceptional gathering and uh, I would like to congratulate UNESCO, the sector of culture, to give us this opportunity and for this timely initiative because in, uh, in all respects it's a success. As we have really limited time, I will use to share with you the situation in Albania regarding actions, regarding investments, and uh, investments especially in culture and creativity for a sustainable development. Let's say briefly that probably I'm among one of the lucky ministers because the prime minister used to be also an artist, a painter, and uh, he is also a former minister of culture. There is a really good synergy and sharing ideas. And I might say that during these last six years, we have uh, really feel that culture has been central in the investments of the government. There is hardly another time in Albania that, uh, or in the modern history when we have invested so much in culture. Let's mention quickly three key moments. First, cultural tourism, as you mentioned, tourism in general and cultural uh, tourism in particular have increased uh, substantially during the last years. Uh, cultural tourism is playing a growing role in uh, the development of the local economy. Uh, especially in the World Heritage sites. Young people are really getting into it and they are re really feeling it and there are a lot of job opportunities for the young people in this field. Uh, special efforts are also made uh, to use heritage sites, uh, monuments as opportunities for sustainable economic development, promoting them and managing them in new ways. And these designations are also part of the uh, products for local communities, not just museums, but also art crafts. And these are especially in those protected areas and they are financing various projects that contributes um, directly to the development and the well-being of the local communities, which lead to increased employment. And uh, in this region, we can see that in the 2016, compared to the previous years, visitors to museum, archaeological parks, um, and cultural monuments increased by uh, quite 18%, and its revenues it generates by about 19%. This is a direct contribution exactly to reducing poverty and to make also people uh, really proud of being local communities around these uh, heritage sites. And second, uh, the government is implementing a program that is entitled 100 Villages. It is a rehabilitation, rehabilitation project uh, in a rural area. It is focused on local level and throughout the country in order to look beyond the urban areas, to go really strictly to the heart where the real Albanian identity stands. Beyond the big cities, everywhere, uh, not just in the seaside, that is one of the most well-known beautiful sites of Albania. This project aims to bring 100 examples, 100 different realities uh, through small but tailor-made uh, projects and investments to bring them into 100 economic development zones. The development of uh, guest houses also offering traditional products at the end of this cultural revitalization program. Third, the protection and preservation of intangible cultural heritage is a way linked in the previous one that I already said, but goes far beyond. Uh, tangible and intangible in Albania are just sides of the same coin. Yet, intangible cultural heritage is more vulnerable, is more fragile, and it needs special and continued attention, and we are looking forward it especially to the young people. And for a long time, it has been preserved. Uh, um, especially just in oral ones, but yet nowadays with the incredible acceleration of times, uh, development of technology and social media have put more pressure on the intangible cultural uh, heritage. We know that without the proper attention and public support, uh, many of such culture practices may disappear. Uh, we cannot we must not let it happen. So we are working on it and I'm really proud that the young Albanian people really understand it and are part of our, of our job. Thank you.